Hey, what is the best feng shui facing direction for your home? That's a mouthful. I create weekly videos to help you feng shui your space by simply repositioning and repurposing items already in your home. The way you reposition and the way you repurpose and where you place those things is dependent on the energies coming to your space, the energies coming in from the different directions. For example, in 2021, certain energies with different attitudes are coming in the south, the north, the east, the west, and some of those energies we want to use and some of them we don't. Some of them we want to support and some of them we don't. So to apply these tips, you need to know where the directions are over your home. For you to apply these tips, you need to understand how to place the Bagua map with all of the directions over your home. This video will be a two-parter. In this first video, I'm gonna show you how to take a compass reading with your phone so you can find out which direction your home is facing. In the second video, I will show you how to lay that Bagua map over your floor plan. If you don't have your floor plan, don't worry, I have a trick. Once you have these two pieces, then you can get a better understanding of if your home is facing a lucky direction. My name's Jeanette Sizikowski. I'm your go-to feng shui consultant. Let's get into it. All right, what do you need to start? First, grab your phone. My Apple users, you're gonna use the compass that comes with your iPhone. Android users, I want you to use an app called Digital Compass for Android by iVilla Studios. This app makes it possible for you to take a compass reading by using Magnetic North, and that is important. Apple users here, I will show you how to go to your settings. In settings, type in compass. Once you go into the compass app, Click off, use true north. Make sure that that is marked off. Android users, I imagine the settings will be very similar, so try and simulate those steps. We are gonna take our compass reading from the facing of the home. Now disclaimer here, I advise you use your home facing direction as if it's your front door. So you're gonna take your compass reading from your front door. But this is why you hire a consultant if you want real, fast, accurate results. A feng shui consultant will be able to walk around your home and know if that's actually where all of the energy is coming in from. So for all of my users and watchers here, if you have a home in Malibu that's two story, tall windows facing the ocean, that's where all your energy is coming in from, and that's why it's not always the front door. Very clearly in that home, the energy's coming in through those two-story windows, right? But for most of us, it's safe to say that your home is facing where your front door is facing. When you take this reading, your body should be parallel to the front of your home, and your back should be turned to your front door. You should be facing away from your home, parallel to your home. Make sure your waist and your shoulders are parallel to the front of your home. You're gonna take three different compass directions. One reading can be taken on the right side of the front, the left side of the front, and then in the center of the front. Remember, no matter where you stand, you do not wanna face the door. You do not wanna be turned to the door. You want your back parallel with the front of the home, no matter where you are. When you're taking your compass reading, also notice the crosshairs in the center of your compass. This is correct. See how the circle and the crosshairs are aligned with the larger crosshairs in the compass? This is incorrect when the central crosshairs are not aligned with this larger crosshair. Make sure to have it this way, otherwise your readings are gonna be all over the place. Take a screenshot of each of these directions, add them together. For example, if your compass reading says 44 degrees northeast, 40 degrees northeast, and 46 degrees northeast, you're gonna add all three of those and divide by three. That will give you the average compass direction. If your compass direction readings are all over the map, 44 degrees northeast, 20 degrees north, 270 degrees west, then something is wrong, you're turning your body. They should all be very close together. When you take this compass reading, also don't wear any metal jewelry. Try and avoid standing by a lot of cars or a lot of metal objects. 
the metal is gonna mess with your compass. Again, using a consultant who has a low pun is even more accurate, but we're all gonna try and do it ourselves here over YouTube, so give it a shot. Stand away from all metal objects to help your compass take an accurate reading. All right, the first bit is done. You have your compass reading. Thank you so much for watching. Stick with me to part two in a second video to show how we overlay now the Bagua map onto your home. Like this video if you're excited for part two. Comment below if you have any questions about how to take your compass reading. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can catch that next video and so you catch all of my feng shui and mindset tip videos. I'm committed to helping you transform a life you tolerate into one you treasure. See you in the second video.